We are on the final table of the $88 Manic Monday. Schaut's mal bei Manic. Guaranteed 760 bucks, playing for $9,000. Puck Champ. And we are mid-stack. This view is fucked, but as I said, in 7 minutes there's a break and I can restart the whole thing. Pretty big tournament. It had uh, 578 runners, so it would be a great idea to tournament to win for nine grand, nine thousand dollars, boys. Pog champ. Let's put up some music as well. Obviously, an easy fold here. Uh, quick and post. Tell the people that we're live. Oh, we might have our first letter. Hold. Be nice. All right. Guaranteed a thousand bucks here. Pork champ. <laughs> All right. We're just going to be folding a bunch. Um, I busted a fine table bubble with kings versus ace queen, by the way. So that was pretty nice. Um, there we go. Sorry, the light isn't great right now as well. Alright, there you have to pay out. Uh, we'll put it in here for now until some more people bust. As usual. And then also on break, I will completely fix this table. Just not really worth it right now. I press the start button, yeah. Alright. We all set up. Right now our task is to be tied till this guy, this guy, this guy bust. <laughs> and then we're doing something. Pretty happy actually. We should have a profitable day with this one thousand dollar score. Yes, it's awesome. I've been also grinding for quite a decent amount of time. I started my session at eight a.m., so I've been live for like nine hours grinding. I'm not defending Queen Seven against this thirteen big band opening range. Like his bluffs, dominators so are kind of his. Yeah, and then everything else is just such a strong opening range with these short stacks. I don't think I want to get involved too much there. Mm. Oh shit, I just realized that the reason. Oh, whatever, doesn't really matter for you guys. I just realized something, which is good. <laughs> and this guy is like super short over here, so we're waiting for a KO. Mm -hmm. Also, FT bubbled the uh, 109 Hyper today on ACR. That sucked. Lost three flips. Three flips! <laughs> to go from second in chips to, to bust on FT. Uh, on the FT bubble, that was really annoying. Alright, quickly doing a Twitter post. So I guess this is a limp pot. I would think that he has a pretty strong range. He just has aces, no a7. Wow. Why are you limping it? What is this? What is this? Outcome is the same. It's just a bit ridiculous. Yeah, what up, Suton Bales? You are the number one. What up, dude? <sighs> pretty cool if we made the fine table here, by the way. The long session. Thanks already. I mean, not that long as I said, nine hours in now. 
Yeah, I have a quite a straightforward position here. He's just gonna chill, wait for our spot, and hopefully get a couple of letters. I feel like really confident right now, man. I'm just keen to grind. Kind of sad with how the big 100 euro fine table, uh, 100 euro 9 stars fine table ended today, so keen to find some revenge in this one. We see a big blind squeeze, expecting this to be very strong. Um, but once again, this guy opens up 13 big blinds. He opened UTG and now he opens again. I hope he has it. Nice. I think he like he is really strong here today. His range is like checks plus ace king. All right. I was off. That's obviously not a good open with ace queen, and I'd love to see a knockout there. I mean, I guess his re yeah, his range is not that tight. I guess in theory it should be that tight, given what his thirteen big blind opening range should look like. But I think that's like totally reasonable to squeeze there. Don't mind me, guys. Never mind. But I like I take it twelve hundred dollar guarantee. $1,200 guaranteed now. Th what up, Rodriguez? Chair, bro. Yes. Thanks, first of all. Yesterday I was bubble FT in 4,600 field. Damn. All about the bounce bank, man. We can never do anything about those FT bubbles. I mean, obviously, you probably made a bunch of mistakes up to that point. And just try to focus on the things you can change. You will get back there at some point, and then you're better prepared, and then when you make the fine table, you're ready for it. I really hope he doesn't open jam here. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. I don't think we can fold sevens here, but with these two guys, I'm not really excited about it. Guys, guys let's just win this, man, for a huge part here. What the fuck? Yeah! Oh my god! What? He just piles it in for 25 blinds, man. Oh, shit. I don't want to be flipping there, man. I was just hoping for deuces, aces, offsuit, shit like that. Holy shit. Quickly, you're gonna get some random information on my opponents, even though it probably doesn't matter too much. But might get, like, a hint on who's gonna play a bit tighter than others. And yeah, we're definitely stealing this. I'm super paranoid of hitting any hotkeys, by the way. <laughs> While typing. And just taking it on preflop is perfect here. And then we have... Theater. All right. This guy to my left is a clearly a regular. Next guy up has blocked stats. Tough to say. Um, pretty big average buy in, so he's probably a regular as well. Have to say for Blick Bishop, probably like a, a weakish regular stuff for him to say. And over here, we probably have another regular as well. Um, interesting spot for me here. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's just not great with that open jam. Um, I guess you just want to flat, don't really want to play a huge pot here. They don't look like, he looks pretty tired. He was also fairly tight so far, I think. So I'm just gonna let this go on the flop, especially with the guy behind. It protects my range a bit as well. What up, Degenerate? Yo, what up, Steve? -O? thanks. Nice, Evid, how much are you up? Which stakes? 40 big blinds now. This came out of nowhere, yes, man. I've been one tabling this for hours now. Sun is about to set, so. Then you can see the nice background again. Okay. But I do not use a HUD just because I restart the table on break. Um, my HUD is working. I just have a different uh, capture right now of my screen. So you cannot see the HUD, but I'm using one right now. 
Damn, that's very, very smooth, David. Holy shit, is that smooth. And look at this graph right now, guys. <laughs> Holy moly. There you go. Very, very smooth. Over 6,000 hands. Lovely. Gonna open the King Jack student here. Yeah, free seems like a standard jam. Thanks, Trap Queen. Shouts from Uzbekistan. Nice, man. Glad you're watching. Uh, we can work the swap worth at uh, work. Just gonna bet call here on the flop. With so much equity. I mean, we always have enough not flush throws, so we're always doing good here. If James, we have an easy call, and hopefully we can get there. Hopefully he's jamming 8 9 of hearts here. <laughs> good luck. Alright, let's hit the tart. Fuck! I won the first flip, even this one. That would have been pretty important, though. So it kind of sucks that he just drops it straight. Oops. No, not that again. Ah, oh, fuck, I hate this. I really have to change my settings. Um... Let's call here. But well, Travolta's making guest uh, appearance. Right, there we go. Um, I think we got a call with the sizing. Hopefully, we can just bink the ten on the turn. That would be amazing. That's such a sexy 10. Just jam aces. Just jam aces. Well, that's a very small bet, my friend. It seems like a bet that wants to check back river. Like, he doesn't have a set here. He might have a flush or something like that. I'm definitely going to raise it. I think we're just jamming here, to be honest. I mean, we could make it like 250k, but it also looks really weird. Yeah, I think we're just all in here. Just have 10 9. Oh, he calls with ace 8 and is drawing dead. He's drawing fucking dead. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he opening that? Oh my god, we won out of 6. Let's go. What a turn. What a turn. Oh. Whew. Lose some chips there. Instantly get it back the next hand, man. Feels good. Let's go. Damn, son. Damn, son. Nah, they're both fairly tired. I'm just gonna fold. Thanks, Rand. Yeah, but I was just looking through the lobbies and saw you the FT. That's fucking going nice. <laughs> a noob is a wreck, Reiner. Yeah. Oh, this is such a nice spot now. Especially with big ladders. Oh, yeah, speaking of those, let's adjust the payouts. I mean, Chase King, man, doing it right here, just folding a bunch, and <laughs> suddenly he sits here and got an additional uh, 800 bucks, 900 bucks. Then at the start of the FT with his stack. I think the Ace 8 is like an atrocious call. He's up a good amount of money on his side, but that's just ridiculous. Seems like a mistake.
I must think about quitting. We'll do it like Pap and just grind until I pass out. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be careful, you know. Quite often when everything is working out very well, you sometimes miss the spot where you're actually not that focused anymore because you just you just feel so unstoppable that it could be an issue. Just as a reminder. But I mean, I hope it continues for a couple more hours, man. <laughs> good luck, good luck. Such a smooth graph as well. It's beautiful. Usually just go down first a little bit and climb back. No, to the moon. So I'm going to open this hand just because he's so short. He doesn't have that much incentive to play back. Same counts for him. Man, by the way, the power of fucking Travolta, man. Just turn the 10. Just turn the fucking 10 like a champion, dude. That was sexy. Sure. I'm on pay a million, man. We're climbing up, we're climbing to the moon. He's a fan of stage five. Let's see a flop. Pretty good. It's kind of funny that he opens the hand. He shouldn't be opening. Gets really like super punished for it as well. It's gonna be bet fairly largely on the turn. I think when he checks back the flop, he either has like a small ace, but a shit ton of check x and ten x that like to call one street and then fold. So I kind of want to extract value, value what I can. Whew. The only like scary thing that could happen is if you like play in a big pot with him right now and before he regens here. <laughs> that could just be devastating. All right, good luck. Man, let's give this guy another ladder, man. He deserves it. Oh, what a sexy hand. Uh. Yeah, the hole. <laughs> Oh my god, we see the best hand pre-flop, the worst flop, <laughs> almost, and knock him out nonetheless. Oh, this is amazing right now, 2,265 guaranteed, and we're not even we're not even done, guys, there's still 5 left, there's still 9,000 for first. Let's go! Why would he ever do that? You could easily have 3 pair or 2 pair. I would disagree about the 3 pair part, but yeah. I think I just have many good hands there. I think he can put me on like a king five because of his small turn size and I just bluffed hand there, but with the ICM it's just not very likely, so I don't like it. May he put me on like an eight nine off. I don't know. Gonna keep the aggression up while I can. With him being short, it's just like so bad for him to do anything and it's working out very well as well. We have to two point five million. And I mean this is just a standard open. Let's just crush this man, bring this home. The last time I had a big stack on an $88 fine table, that was on a Sunday, a couple of weeks ago on ACR, and I just deemrolled it and won it for 10k. It'd be nice to repeat it here. Got to fold the regem. we Omaha now, boys. I mean, you can have three pairs and hold them, but it doesn't count. Same for Omaha. Alright, let's see if Chase King finally goes with it. Nope. So this is the ace king guy. Alright. Would have been a weird spot if he opened jams again. He's <laughs> all in with king six for four blinds. I don't mind if he just folds here. You know, we pick up a bunch of chips and we can continue to apply a lot of pressure here. Thanks, TKFT. Well, Pav is feeling good. I just heard a noise in the kitchen. Might be him, I don't know. 
I hope he sleeps for many hours and feels really fresh when he gets up. He wants to pick up some hands right now. <laughs> he has three blinds now, man. So viable. <laughs> I love my spot right now in this FT. Gonna fold this one. Inline Laro. Might be guaranteed 3000 here. By the river. No, what? God, punished for folding. Punished for folding, guys. Both Lero. Queen 10 takes it down. We lose another player. And we're guaranteed $3,000 now. Easy open with AC offsuit here. So now, like, he's the mid stack. We have two short stacks. So 36 big blinds, and I'm the clear chip leader. It's obviously a great position. And I hope we can just continue just right on that wave of the on the momentum, just take it down. It's a big first place, man. Nine thousand dollars is it's a good amount of money. A pretty good ball, it's fairly dry. There's gonna be some hands he just has to snap fold, so I like see betting my ace eight here. He can play back a bit more now, but yeah, we'll see. All right, 2.6 million. <laughs> All right, blinds go up as well. Put these, both of these guys under 20 blinds, which I don't mind too much, to be honest. It's just easier to to pressure stack like I have with raises because every time I raise and he's in a small blind, he does rejam and doesn't flat that much, you know. Makes things a bit easier. Great spot, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna flat the King 10 offsuit here. So 19, 19, 40, and 64 blinds. It's a decent board for my flagging range, lots of check X in there. Mm, obviously just have to fold if you see bets here. Yep. Alright. Ace Queen and a rejam, let's go. I take a three bet four from the small blind. I take a three bet jam from Ace Queen. I take folds, I guess. <laughs> Three six alpha will never be defended here. It's not for me. Ooh, the three bet. Step fold. Just gonna open jam here. I don't think we wanna get um like special here, do anything out of the ordinary. I think we just wanna jam and Stuff for them to call. Like he has to call a bit tighter than usual because of him. So I'm making a bit more money on the jam as well. Just don't really want to allow him to be able to jam over my limp or yeah, pretty much that's it. I would never jam, uh, race there with check nine offsuit, but limp or jam, both seem very reasonable. All right. I think for six suited will also be open from the cutoff here. These stack sizes. Uh, he just streamed so long for fun. He was also drunk, I think, towards the end of it, but yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the 69,000 for you guys in the chat. Nice. 
Nobody wants a modern path, man. I'm really building a nice deck right now, winning lots of like race parts, get it down down with the seabed. This is how I would dream for it to go down. So it's just lovely when you can win all of these uncontested parts, you know. Makes things very easy for you. And reduces the vari variance like a shit ton. Once again, just jam this for 14 big blinds. Nice! Just flopped this trade. Whew. I'm making the right plays and we get lucky. This is how it should be. This is how it just fucking should be, man. Let's go. That's a really nice three out on this spot. So we find the regem here with check turn offsuit. Actually, no, King Turn offsuit. I take it, guys. Building a stack, man. And this is a 40k guaranteed. $88 40k guaranteed man Manic Monday. God, it's so smooth so far, man. Let's keep it rolling, man. Um, we're gonna 3x the Queen of Tudor. I think it's fine to see bet here. I'm gonna double barrel a decent amount, I think. Uh, I think I do that on three turn though. My bluff river. Yeah, I don't know what manic means. I mean, maniac I know, but manic. Wait, let me see what manic means. I mean, I think I know what it means. It's just a German word, right? It means like manish, I guess. But wait, let me check. Manic to be sure. Yeah. Okay. I just never saw that word before in English. Got fan nine seven. Yeah, <laughs> thanks Poker UFC fan. Good seeing you as well. Nah, it's just in time to see a bink. Let's hope so, man. That three out of us juicy. I mean, now we have 3.8k guaranteed, but there's another $5,000 to play for, and there's no chops on this side, guys. So we're going to be rumbling. Big brand regems here, I would call. But he just lets it go. 3.2 million. More than 50% of the chips left in play. That's very nice. I mean, he's like very deep here, so it's not that I can pressure him too much. Just because it's quite easy, 50 big blinds deep, you know, blind versus blind, it's tough to get all of those blinds in. So quite often I think what just happened that he um, defends the big blind and then we go. F yeah, it's kind of annoying. That hurts a lot to raise four Quintons suited there. Yeah, he is very top heavy. I don't think we should be calling this against him. Especially not in this situation. I think there's like many good spots where you can pick up chips. This seems like too speculative. It's gonna beat my record. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Take it easy on me, Travis. Don't put me under pressure. 
They go by three million. I just want four million, man. Four million would be sexy. I think this guy's so tight with his regens to be overcalling King Queen suited here. Um, this is like two regulars that have correct ranges here. I think we should be overcalling. Wow. No, what? What a sick, sick chop for Tense, man. He's drawing dead on the flop, man. Like, he needs to run a runner, pretty much. That's such a bad spot for him. Holy shit, that's lucky. <laughs> that's crazy. That is so crazy. The runner, runner, flush, man. That's so absurd. I'm gonna keep the pressure up. Especially with the back doors here. And with a big blind range, you know, 6 7 of hearts. Muck it. I guess you didn't have the 6 7 of hearts, or you went for a very out of line jam. <laughs> King Queen of Diamonds again. We'll see another open and jam. No, this time. I can see a flop and I'm pretty excited about that. I think I mostly check call in this flop. Sometimes check raise. But yeah, mostly check call. King Queen is like not too unlikely to be the best hand here. And obviously we have six outs quite often if you're behind. I think this one is a hand that we fold on the turn very often. So we lose a pot there. Let's climb back to 3 million. Obviously, no pressure. It's just normal to lose a couple of pots. What was your biggest reward to this, this time? You know, like, like my bit, biggest win? Might do some delayed bluffing here. Especially in their turn card on limp pot. Nice. Such a sick chop with Ace vs. Tenzman, I can't believe that one. I just not a thing that happens so often. <laughs> I was already ready to get the heads up charts out, you know? <laughs> I didn't have heads up charts. Yo, thanks, Shmoo. I think 10 is suited. So I had one flat here in the small blind. Lovely flop. Um. Yeah, I think we want to check race here. And then just get it in. Check jamming is also pretty reasonable. It's tough to get it in bad here, you know. Good luck. <laughs> uh, yep, that's one of the hands we get it in bad against. <laughs> it's the only hand, actually. I guess 10-6 as well, but I'm not sure if he opens that. That's a bit annoying. Blinds go up as well. This is pretty crazy right now. So we have th three guys left. Everyone has 40 big blinds roughly. It's going to be a close battle. I don't think there's anything we can do with the 10-9 suited. We can obviously call the flop instead of raising, but I think we want to mostly raise it there. Maybe the occasional flat. But yeah, that just sucks. 
That's a bit unfortunate. But shit happens. I had a smooth final table so far. So hopefully we can just get back in the run good gear. Jeez, fuck that job. Yeah, that's a bit ridiculous. Especially now that he takes all my chips away, it hurts a bit more as well. Just checking down our 9 high here. So then parts that you have plenty of weaker hands. Alright, seems reasonable. It's crazy how even these stacks are right now. Like, totally crazy. Yeah, that makes that aces versus ten shops even worse, holy shit. Oh, chop. Mm. Might be bluffing here, some runouts. Yeah, we're definitely bluffing this turn. I mean, he just saw me flat 10-9, the small blind, so I have like a lot of 8-9 here, queen check, queen 10, check 10. So you can apply lots of pressure on quite a few hands here, you just have to fold. Nice. Like, I think he's folding like all 10x day as well. So now we're the chip leader, yay. Road to 3 million. <laughs> La, 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 la. Yeah, you already see a bit more post flop being played here with these stack sizes. Top pair is pretty good. I think like pocket nines plus is usually three betting here, so that means the only hand that we're losing to to him is like um a7, a8, maybe a king 8 suited. Obviously, flushes now as well. It's pretty small bet sizing on the turn here. Mm. Let's just call actually. Ah, uh, it's so annoying. I'm gonna call here. I just think about it a bit, but the thing is, like, he often blocks his flushes. Yeah, here's the flush. It makes a lot of sense there. It's really, really annoying. It's very, very annoying. The thing is, so on his turn, like on a turn and he leads that small, I think he either has a flush or nothing or a draw. And then when he calls as well, he's going to have a lot of flush draws as well, making it less likely that he has the flush himself, right? Because he only calls with high cut flush draws. So he, he, I think his flatting range kind of blocks him from having flushes a little bit, which makes it really, really tough to fold a nine down the river. But especially with the sizing, like it's just really, really tough. But yeah, I think we might find a fault there. Like I didn't feel good about calling, but it's it's, it's a tough fault to make. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call here. Just hope the turn brings the diamond. Nope, it brings the seven. It's kind of an interesting spot to mix in a lead. I don't hate it. He obviously can have seven X, and my hand also doesn't want to check fold here. We can just fold out a couple of hands that are really random. Then my double barrel here as well. Nice. That's awesome. That's very nice. So we cannot only represent the seven, but it also is like quite beneficial for me to lead the turn there and fold out random garbage. And as I said, if he calls, we see a river as well. How much you play a week? Um, I don't know, depends how I feel like it. Uh, 
Um, with the Queen of Diamonds, I think we're on the double barrel here. Obviously, still have two sex window on the button here. And uh, we can fold out a bunch of like maybe King High floats, 4x, 5x, very nice. Back over to million. So now Noob Ace Ace is the short stack, kind of, and two of us make up the big stacks. Thanks, Petty Million. <laughs> wow, it's a pretty crazy board. I think I'm gonna check raise my hand. That's yeah, a very big flop sizing, I don't like it. So we're gonna give him this raise. So to fold out some airbots already. Very small sizing, we're representing like 7x, strong 8x. It's a good turn. We're just spending a quarter here. And hope we just fold out like ace highs now. Now it sucks to have the Queen of Diamonds. Let me quickly think this through. I don't think it matters too much because I expect to rejam his flush draws on the flop, and given his flop sizing, I'm happy jamming here. So we don't run to 10 9. Oh my god. Fuck, man. Like, he's folding this hand every fucking time on the river, guys. He's folding it every fucking time on the river. Oh, what an awful, awful river. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. <laughs> He folds his hand every single time on the river, guys. Like, I can guarantee it to you, like, a hundred fucking percent, man. He just gets a fucking three river. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. But we flop very well here. Just hope we don't magically lose this hand. That would be very annoying. Alright. God damn it, man. Just gets the two out on the river. <laughs> I say two out. I know he folds his hand to a river jam, guys. Like, I'm so certain there. I think he's bluffing river. We're calling for the chop, kind of. And therefore, it could be bad. Yeah, as I said, I just don't expect him to have too many flushes with him, like, calling. I mean, obviously flushes, like, quite often for value, but not that many combinations of flushes is what I'm saying. But yeah, it doesn't feel like great with a call. I think that could be a mistake there. He sized it perfectly as well, but it's really, really tough for me to fold my hand. If he goes bigger than that, I'm happy folding. Basic turn card, by the way, with three stone turn as well. Get the fuck out of here with your caps. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with how I played in this fine table so far, I gotta say. We're gonna get our spots, guys, to, to win this. We'll make the comeback happen. It's obviously a huge difference between third and first. Uh, yeah, I see betting 8 3 here. I'll check back and just try to get the showdown here with King Jack, King 10. 
the Lady Bird and Eight or Three River. Too bad. Too bad. I want to flip early against this guy to even get the double up and get a good stack, you know, so it's fine. We all have a CH check. I'm um, just going to open jam it. Alright. Damn it. Plants go up, 12 big brand Lero. We need help. That is that could be help. <laughs> that could be help right there. Alright, let's hope we race call sixes guys. We get the double up, get back into this match. Let's do it guys. Pocket sixes for the boys. Yeah! Whew! Win the flip. God damn it. I like betting the sand. I'll we'll check big the turn and then might occasionally bluff some rivers. <laughs> it's a pretty good river to bluff. Seven eight gets there, seven three gets there. We have two options here on the river. We can choose a small sizing representing a check X with a quarter, or we can fire a big one with a 7 8, 7 3 type hand. This just answers the question. Gonna fire a turn here. Should get quite a few faults in the turn with this hand. It's a pretty nice river to bluff with as well. Even though we have the seven clubs, which isn't ideal, I think the run is just too good not to bluff here. We can, we can polarize ourselves to a check or better quarter here. I think a quarter is just good enough to get the faults that I want to get. Yeah, we don't this is, we don't want to fold out to pair. We could obviously size it up as well. But I think this kind of gets the fold from the nine X and five X that I want. This it's not unlike to go all in, easy call versus jam. Good luck. Yeah, it's a bit of a... 
unhappy third place finish, a very unhappy third place finish, I gotta say. I mean, win like $4,000, which is obviously good and makes a pretty profitable day. 